Hello, Marcus Slim here, and it has been a while since my last uh, unboxing uh, video, uh, mainly due to the you know, whole coronavirus situation, which has meant that the shipping has all been delayed. So you know, no new books, but now it's slowly trickling back in. And uh, what I have today is the Joker, the uh, Deluxe Edition by Brian Azzarello and Lee Bermejo um, and yeah so this is not like a new book it's uh, the deluxe edition of the Joker graphic novel originally published back in 2008 so quite a while ago like 12 years ago um, back around the time when the Dark Knight was released right and that may be the reason why it was released then to capitalize on that uh, movie um, and you can see that it's also been uh, rebranded uh, as the DC black label so I, I guess it, it's very fitting that it's black label because this is really a very adult um, you know kind of book with a few quite disgusting scenes um, so let's have a look at what it actually says, right? So disturbing, right? So some USA weekend says it's disturbing, violent, oddly psychological, insanely wonderful. Okay, IGN says that it's a literary achievement that takes the place right alongside Alan Moore's *The Killing Joke*. Uh, *Killing Joke* uh, obviously is the classic Joker uh, story by Alan Moore. So, a uh, legendary story. So, you know, to be uttered in the same breath as that book means that this one is something pretty special. Okay? Uh, so, this one, it does have some extras. It says it collects the graphic novel um, and also features a wealth of behind the scenes stuff. And also an all new story from the recent Joker 80th Anniversary special. Um, and yeah, I guess the 80th Anniversary this year of the Joker is also another reason, I think, why DC has decided to re-release this. Okay, so... Um, before I um, actually unwrap this, just a brief mention that uh, Azarello and Bermejo previously did Batman Dam. Um, so this was quite recent. This was like two, last year, I think, 2019. And uh, prior to that, uh, they did um, Batman Noel. Okay. Um, actually, I should have said you know, they did these works after this because this is actually a re release. Um, but for many people, you know. Their first exposure might be something like Batman Damned. So, there you go. Okay, let me uh, unwrap this. Okay. So, there you go. Let me remove the jacket. And without the jacket, this is what it looks like. It's a wrap around pretty grotesque image of his face <laughs> uh, by uh, Lee Bermejo okay so uh, alright so it does have a new intro because it's 2019 by Brian Azzarello himself and uh, here we go okay so you lovingly rendered by the artist, Lee Bermejo. Um, this is actually told from the point of view of someone called Johnny Frost, who's like one of Joe Joker's henchmen. So the entire story is told from his point of view. Oh, that's Harley Quinn. Um, so yeah, you can see there's some disgusting things that I said before. Um, And um, yeah, so along the way, you know, we, we get 
to meet all of the classic Batman villains like Joe, like uh, Penguin. I think that's Killer Croc. But the the, the feel of the book is more like a, a crime book story, right? More so than a um, like a superhero kind of book. Um, which I guess that really resembles the Dark Knight in a lot of ways. Um, you know, Dark Knight being more of a crime movie than a traditional superhero movie. And, uh, there's uh, Two Face. <coughs> Okay, um, right, and, alright, so far Batman hasn't appeared, but now he's appeared near the end. But yeah, so a lot of people who read this, oh there you go, Batman, um, have said that this book is like a, a, a masterstroke of twisted genius, right? A masterpiece um, of chaos and gore and all that stuff. Really getting into his head, the mind of the, the Joker. Um, so here is the um, the new story by the same team, Brian and Lee, um, from their rec in their recent uh, 80 year Joker Spectacular. And then here's some uh, behind the scenes stuff. Evaluations from Brian and B, it says. Uh, what is this? Joker Dark Knight proposal. That's the proposal. And then here's the art for Wizard Magazine. Preliminary character studies. Created in 2005, it says. Following the release of Batman Begins. Final cover for the actual graphic novel, unused cover art, black and white art, page 4, oh, more black and white art. Alright, and then here's a little extra, um, created in 2010, homage to Kelvin and Hobbes. <laughs> and there you go. The Deluxe Edition of uh, Joker by Brian Azzarello and Lee Bermejo. And as I said before, if you if you enjoy it, right, like uh, Batman Damned, you like his style, um, then yeah, you might want to check this out. It's one of his older works, but still holds up really well, like so many years later. And I guess the character of the Joker has never been more popular, right? Given it's 80 years, and also given that he's had a really amazing movie last year uh, with the Joker played by Joaquin Phoenix. Alright, so yeah, if this is your cup of tea, uh, definitely check it out. Um, and as always, uh, if you like the, this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.